Hey girl. Hey girl. channel um, on today's video we're gonna take you guys um, to the park with us this is going to be the first time that Dante and Peach go to the park together I'm bringing my hubby along so he's gonna be helping me out with Dante so yeah um, let's go So the park that we usually go to has this baseball field that I like to train Dante on, but for the first time ever, we noticed that there was this huge expanse of grass right next to it, and we just decided to go and take the dogs. Don't worry, they weren't running away from me. Lucas just called them over. As I mentioned before, I usually take Peach to train alone with me. Reason being that it's really important for me to spend some good quality time with her alone so that she sees me as her leader, especially when it comes to obedience training. I've noticed that Peach gets very distracted when I bring Dante to train with us, which is normal puppy behavior, but it's not ideal in a situation that I want her to only focus on me. I was actually speaking to their breeder the other day and she was talking about the importance of the gap between the time that we got Dante and Peach. She recommends for anyone planning on getting two courses to have a minimum of six months in between each pup. In my case, it was essential that I formed a relationship with Dante first because he is a way more dominant dog and he is way more protective. So if we were to have had two dogs and one had a more submissive temperament, that dog would have naturally leaned towards the more dominant dog to be their leader. That's why I've been making such a big emphasis on taking Peach alone to train because I just want to make sure that the dynamic is correct in our pack, taking in consideration that she is way more laid back. Now for some fun facts. Peach is a little bit over six months right now and she is weighing 55 pounds. We expect her to reach 90 pounds when she's an adult, but who are we kidding? Lucas and I are always going to call her our little girl. I've been receiving a couple of questions from you guys in regards to a video that I posted almost two weeks ago about healing. You guys were concerned on whether you would be able to teach an older dog how to heal. And from my personal experience, this is definitely doable. We taught Dante how to heal when he was almost a year old. Now, if you have a bigger dog and an older dog, you may need to use a slip lead or a prong collar to administer correction. I am planning on making a video on how to use these tools correctly, so if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. For me, this was a really memorable day. It was the first time that we took out Dante and Peach together, and it was definitely one of those days that I'll remember very, very dearly. has been doing really great with her obedience training. I have to constantly remind myself that she is going through different stages and that she is getting better as she grows. As a puppy, she has a very short attention span which gets longer over time, so I make sure to celebrate any little bits of progress. 
Dante has done an amazing job at being her mentor. It's really sweet. He protects Peach. He does all the barking for her. It is honestly such a blessing to have him as a dog because he has been amazing with her. Since the day that we got her, he really took her in. Even though he, at times he did have a little bit of his hesitations, he wasn't sure if he should share all his toys or share water from the same water bowl. But over time, they really found a way to communicate and Dante did correct Peach if she was ever being disrespectful. So everything worked out. Dante, come. <laughs> come. Peachy girl. Hey girl. Hey guys, so we just got home now. I'm giving them a bowl of ice. <laughs> they, no, there's no reason in particular. I just think that they like having water in this form. They obviously get water, normal water too, but they just like having ice. Um, one of you guys also suggested that giving them like frozen fruit that they can have is also a cool treat. Um, so yeah, I haven't tried that with them yet. Oh no, actually I did. I gave them frozen watermelon. They really liked it. <laughs> So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment for more videos like this. And follow us on Instagram. Uh, we have a TikTok too. And yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Bye. Guys, say bye. Dante, you remember to say bye? Ay, let me get this ice for you. Here you go, Dante. You want to speech to here? <gasps> Look, I have this ice for you. Here. Here you go, slobbery boy.